What's happening, everybody in YouTube land? This is Hagar with a mod review for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Today we're looking at Darth Vapor's profile. It says Darth Sugar there, but uh, in-game he's known as Darth Vapor. Also, Darth Vapor runs a recruitment channel or server on Discord. I will have a link to that below. And let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Running our JT team. I uh, run a similar team. Okay. There's uh, the stats. We're in sub 100. Very good. We're looking at a GP of 2.6. Excellent. And we will do some quick mods of the win team and rip through his roster. Oh, okay. yeah. Miss Ray. We're looking at a speed of 198. And 7, 10, 7, 4, nothing, 30. You gotta have more. That's, uh, yeah, no two ways about it. Uh, mine's 228, just for reference. Um, I would say do the whole thing, or do a crit damage set. And I would do a, or a potency uh, primary on the cross. Oh, with some better speed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I would almost say scrap the whole thing. <clears throat> we need, she does big damage. We gotta have that damage amplified by the crit damage. We gotta have big uh, potency when she does her mind tricks. Potency of 38, 39 is not gonna cut it. Um, see what we can do there. Crit damage and more potency. The set, like the offset, I can go either way. I ended up with a tenacity on mine, just how the mods fell. Um, yep, oh yeah. Oh, R2D2, 232 speed, 8, 6, 13, 3, nothing, and 30. More speed. Uh, we got to do something about this. Anything speed with some secondary uh, speed set with secondary speed, we got to have that. R2 is too clutch in this team to not have a lot of speed on him. And this three, this, uh, we got to do something about this. He's not a big damage dealer, so the offense is. Uh, it's not, not important here. Go for potency as a primary on the plus. 13, 6. See if we can do something about that. Uh, the left side, the diamonds are fairly easy to farm up. We can do better than 6 here. Shouldn't have too much problem doing that. 8 is in the middle. It's not good. It's not bad, but... Good enough, you want to leave it on him. If you can do better, great. If not, that's all you can do. Oh, but the triangle and the plus, definitely we can swap those out. And you have six speed mods. Maybe do the, the triangle and the plus, since they are rarer. You could get by with some, uh, with some other... I'm bumping the camera, sorry. With some other sets, or even just a mismatch set. Get like a good protection, uh, protection primary here with some decent speed. Doesn't matter the set. Same here. If you can get a potency primary with some off speed, uh, secondary speed rather. It doesn't matter what the set is. If you gotta go mismatch for those two, that would be worth it to get more speed on this guy. Okay, BB8, 253. That's a decent speed. 15, 9, 9, 8, 11, and 30. Mm, I'm looking at a five speed. Potency. Potency's decent for him. If you had something with like, I don't know, 15 or something speed, I would even maybe even uh, swap it out over the potency. This might, might be good for R2 actually. There you go. The 253, you gotta have this guy fast. I understand that. You gotta have him fast. Nice bet, 15, yeah, that's a good one. 
Mm-hmm. This one. Five critical chance. You could put that on someone else. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might be good for, let's see, let me throw in there, yeah, throw in. Big fat damage dealers. Mm, I want to say Han or some of the other damage dealers who are, uh, you want to do a speed on your CLS. This looks, man, that's huge. That's huge crit. That's like a whole, it's like a whole crit set, like right there. Tucked away in the secondary. Nine is good for a BB-8, but that five crit chance, man. I want to say that could be used somewhere else. Um, yeah. Thrawn's the speed man. Speed, speed, speed. So we're looking at nine, nine, eleven, nothing, nothing. And 30 arrow for a total of 224. What's the total? 59. Yeah, we can do better than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to have some speed here. The speed set does not make up for the lack of speed secondary here. Um, even if you leveled up a gray up to level 12, it's like 120-something uh, thousand credits. If you got like a 5 speed... And you put it in there, that would be better. Same here, if you got like 5 speed, leveled up a gray up to level 12. And so you got a 5 speed, that would be better. In the speed set, of course. Uh, yep, that's what that would be there. Um, that would boost you up. I think my thought is 245, just for reference. Room for improvement. Not, it wouldn't take too much to, to get this guy. Uh, get some speed on those. Kenobi. Uh, I run... Well, let's start over. There's two schools of thought on Kenobi. It could be tanky, or it could be... Whoop. <laughs> Almost flipped off. Follow YouTube. Uh, tanky or uh, speed. I went with this fast Kenobi. It's been working out well for me. Uh, I'm the top ten every day. And I've seen other guys do tanky, and it works well for them. I see you've got 10, you got 7, a 14, a nothing, a nothing. You kind of went in the middle. Um, so I put a speed set on mine. We could do better than this. Uh, I could put a health. If you wanted to go tanky, put... Uh, Find another health, find something. We can find another protection. If it has speed on it, great. If not, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. Mm. Random speed. Like you're going like in the middle of like speed or tanky. Mm. Switch over real quick. So this is mine. Uh, speed, speed, speed. I just went protection, 10 speed. Protection, 9 speed. I've got him 32% or 32k health, 378k protection. I've got him at 217 speed. That's what I'm going. You're seeing me somewhere in the middle. You know, dude, if that works for you, great. Uh, but. That's what I would do. Go either one way or the other. Mine was 31k. Yours is 36. Doesn't seem to be a lot. A lot of difference there. Maybe find something with more health and protection. Like this one has 345 health. Maybe find something with uh, a couple thousand. And this... Crit chance, like the BB-8, despite its 10 speed, I like the speed, a little bit tenacity, a little bit of health, but crit chance could probably go on someone else. So either dive more into tanky or more into speed. That's what I would do. Alright, let's do characters. Yes.
Bounty Hunter. Dengar. Oh, cool. You got a max out Dengar. Awesome. Uh, for the territory battles. Yes. Battle. I would leave out Cad Bane. Level up the rest. To 9 of 10. I was doing mine like last week. I got mine up to 9. They weren't too terribly hard to get up there. So uh, leave out Cad Bane. Do up the rest. Sam Wessel is the only one that is difficult, and it looks like you are a good chunk over halfway to getting her to 7 star. Let's go do that. Clones. Uh, gonna use Rex. Rex is pretty good. The meta that will never die. Um, you're good. You honestly, no, nah, I wouldn't touch a thing. Droids. Uh -huh. I would do B2. I've got mine at 10. I would recommend that. Chopper, we're getting him to reduce Phoenix. K2, I had thought about using him, like swapping him into my RJT team for Territory Wars, so I could use Kenobi on a GK Barrett team. That is a thought. It's a medium priority on K2. I would say upper medium on... B2, Battle Droid. Bounty Hunters, upper medium, uh, upper, yeah, upper medium, if not a high priority. Um, yeah, let's just say upper medium for the Bounty Hunters. Empire, nice Vader, nice Tarkin, nice Thrawn, Felt, good, very, nice, nice, nice. I've seen Krennic on a Sith Raid team. We'll go over that later. Trooper is an Sith Raid MVP, take him up to 11. I'm going to say high priority on that. Oh. Veers, I guess we'll do... Yeah, we can just do it now. Um, Veers, same with Trooper. Get him to 11. Oh. I've seen teams. I would say 10. Do 10 for now. Trooper. Veers, Stark, Shore, Snow. Uh, ten at least. Let's say high priority on that for territory battles. To unlock this little guy. You gotta get this dude rocking. Oh. Okay. That covers the Imperial Troopers as well. Ewok, are you an Ewok guy? Myself, I am not an Ewok guy. They have their place. Uh, I've seen a Sith Raid team using Ewoks, but it's a huge, it's a lot of gear and a lot of Zetas. I wouldn't recommend it. Order. Phasma, Kylo. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Don't touch a thing. Maybe when the First Order Executioner gets uh, free to play. Maybe gear him up, squeeze him in there somewhere. Other than that, for now. Oh, if you wanted to do unmasked up to 11, that'd be okay with me. It's a medium priority on that. Genosha is going to skip. Uh, troopers, we went over. Jellies. Uh, if you have the crit damage ch mod challenge unlocked, Go for Engineer, level him up a bit, maybe level 75, gear 6, 7, same with the Engineer. If you already have that unlocked, don't do anything, just leave him. Jedi. Going in, good, 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 good. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I want to do up Yoda and... Ahsoka, because the P2 team on the Sith is Qui-Gon, Kenobi, Ezra, Hermit, and Ahsoka. So, if you want to go that route, and I recommend you do, actually do get those five up to G12. You already have Kenobi up to 12, so get those four up to G12. Qui-Gon, Ezra, Hermit, and Ahsoka. I'll show you the list at the end. 
of a Reddit post. I will show that a bit later. Night sister. Gearing up my night sisters now. They're not too terribly hard to gear up. Especially the, the OG ones. This chick you're going to want to gear up. She's nice. Daka, Talia, Talton. I'm using my Cantina. I'm not doing any Cantina refreshes. I'm using those crystals to buy Talton Shine. So that's how I'm going to get Talton into my Sith Raid. So I would do these. I would probably just take them up to 11, if not 12. If you, and they're not forcing you to use your crystals, if you want to use Initiate, that's also been good for Phase 4 of the Sith Raid. Again, I'll show you that. Uh, I'd say upper medium to high priority on these guys, just because it's Sith Raid. Nice Phoenix, nice Phoenix. These guys are useful in P2 of the Sith Raid. Uh, Zeb, Sabine, get your Kanan. Not sure which one it was. Oh, yeah. These guys can be useful as well if you wanted to use them if the Jedi aren't getting you up there. I don't know which would be a shorter trip to get your Phoenix ready or your Jedi ready. Well, as you're in both teams, hmm. Might even be one or the other, huh? Go with Jedi then. Alright, leave these guys. You're, unless you want to do Sabine, eh, we'll talk about that later. Mm hmm, mm hmm, very good, very good. Nice Rebels. Put a Zeta on Jan Mask. I want to say mine's only G8. Medium priority on Rogue One. Where's your Rogue Ones? Turret. Oh, Turret's a must have. You gotta have Turret. However, you gotta do it. Get him up there. I'm not sure if he's still in that guild event store or not. Oh, is he in Fleet? I think he's in Fleet Store. Yes. High priority. Turret. Base can be useful. Medium. If you're doing the mission okay with Leia, leave her. Otherwise, get her to your 9, level 80. You can probably pass with that, Captain Solo, Hoff Brothers. These guys are going to 9. If, you've got, if you're at 8 and you're doing fine, leave them. Yeah, Rogue One team. Uh... I would say medium priority. Prefer like one or two, one or two. You could probably do the the, the lesser one with this. So that uh, phase six, he gets like one mission every month or whatever. Medium priority, medium low maybe. Oh, one more. Your rebels. Resistance. Nice resistance you got here. Excellent, 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 excellent. So the team BB-8 there. Okay. R2 Ray BB-8. Was it Trooper? Scav Ray. Yeah. So you get the other Sith Raid teams done. I would say maybe even just leave these guys at. So use BB-8, eh, BB-8 in your arena team. I can see BB-8 being a high priority. Scaf Ray, medium, until you get the other Sith Ray teams going. Touch a thing. Except for the speed, bounty hunters we talked about earlier. Let's 
that because uh, get uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nav Vader Maul said Nav Palp. If you want to do up a Savage for Territory Wars team, I can see that. Let's put that in medium priority. Otherwise, so if you want to do six troopers as assassin, medium. Scion's going to be important. Eventually, he's going to be a high priority. For now, it's a medium as well. Otherwise, you're doing okay. Tuscans, nah. Okay. Let's go to that one post I talked about. Let's turn off. Not like gaming fans. Okay. Alright, so this is by Mager, I'm not even going to try, it's Mager8. It's called How to Defeat Hero 6 for Sith Raid on Reddit. If you wanted to do this, I will have this a link to this one also down below. Okay, so. Make it any bigger? Can we make it any bigger? Kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for Sith Raid, this dude, uh, Heroic, completed Heroic, this is how we did it. You're set on this team. JTR team. Uh, the Jedi team that I was talking about earlier. Can we get that bigger? Sure we can. Qui-Gon, Ezra, uh, Kenobi, Snips, and Hermit. That's what I would recommend right there. And you got too much uh, for you to go to be good on that. Chex Mix, CLS. That's where you need your CLS. Uh, Han and Death Trooper. Using Death Trooper and P3 is kind of what screws up the other Imperial team. However, you still need them for territory battles uh, and territory wars, even for taking out Night Sister teams. So they're still important, but Death Trooper is a biggie. And Turret. Turret's a key part of this one as well. Mm. Yep. Okay. I'm just kind of went off into a daydream for a moment. Uh. So Zeta Asajj can get 5%. Uh, for Gor Georgish. Did OG Night Sisters. That's what I was talking about. Uh, how you don't need to have Talzin in there. They could do that. Mm. There we go. Alien Zombie. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I guess this was the, I guess this is not normal. This is some type of anomaly score, but uh, if you get even half that, 1.5, that'd be pretty darn good. Look at that, friggin' G8 uh, initiate. Okay, so that is what I'm going to suggest for you. That's what I'm going to go for, so that's what I'm going to suggest that you go for. Uh, I think that'll do it. I think that'll wrap it up. We did all the mods. We did all the rosters. We took a quick look at the Sith Raid. All right, Vapor. I hope I helped you. And, uh, yeah. Oh, if you have no idea what to do for a mod um, and how to mod someone, come on, Internet. Gaming-fans.com has... Over a hundred mod guides just waiting for you. And there we go. And the very first link. The very first link, the very first drop down is mods. And don't seem to be working. But they will have a list there that you can see. No. They have a whole bunch of stuff just waiting for you if you don't have a pocket Hagar to tell you what to do. Uh, Alright. Once again, Vapor. 
I uh, hope I helped. Thanks for letting me take a, a peek under the hood of what you got here. I will have Vapor's Discord uh, server in the links below and also that Reddit post down below as well. All right, I'm Hagar. I'll catch you next time.